Okay, so we have a, a funny table here, and the question says, the probability of a false positive test result is, so given this table, we have to answer this question. So let's go ahead and do it. So we want P, a false positive. I'll put false POS. So this is a drug test. So a false positive is a positive that's false. So this means positive, so the test is positive, and the person is not a drug user, so did not use drugs. Did not use drugs. That's what false positive means in this case. So in a drug test, it means that you test positive for drugs and you did not use drugs. Um, if you took a pregnancy test, it would mean that you're pregnant, but you're not really pregnant. So the test says you're positive, uh, but you're not really pregnant. If you took a lie detector, that it would mean that the test says you're lying, but you're not really lying. So it's a positive result that's false. So positive, in this case, means the test says the person's using drugs, and uh, the person did not actually use drugs. Okay, this is a fraction. Okay, so on the bottom, you always have the total. Okay, so to figure out the total, what you do is you add up all the numbers. Okay, so let's do that. So 39 plus 19 plus 12 plus 36. Okay, uh, I'm not going to take any chances because I haven't done this yet, so I'm putting this in the calculator. Let's see. So 39 plus 19 plus 12 plus 36. Let's do it. So 106. That's the total number of results. So you always put the total on the bottom. Okay. So you just always add them up, and that goes in the bottom. That will change later, uh, but for now, that's pretty much always the case. So you take all the numbers, add them up, and that goes in the bottom. And then up top, we want to find uh, the number of ways to pick a false positive. So false positive means positive and did not lie. So positive test result is here. And sorry, not did not lie, did not use drugs. So positive test result is here. And then they're not a drug user. So 19, that's where they meet, right? So 19 ways to pick a false positive. You see it's where the positive meets the line that says is not a drug user. So 19. Then you just put that in the calculator. So let's do that. So 19 divided by 106. So that's 0.179. How many decimals does it want? Three. So perfect. 0.179. So 0.179. So the answer is 0.179. So again, it's where positive test result meets subject is not a drug user. It's where they both meet. They both meet at 19. So 0.179. Good stuff. So again, it's the number of ways to pick a false positive, which is 19, divided by the number of ways to pick a result, which is the total, which you get by adding everything. Uh, who would suffer from a false positive result? Well, I guess the person taking the drug test, right? I mean, there's almost an 18% chance that if you take this test, uh, it's going to say you use drugs even if you didn't. So um, I think it's this one. The person tested would suffer because he or she, no, that's wrong, would not be successful. It's this one here. The person tested would suffer because he or she would be su su suspected of using drugs when in reality he or she does not use drugs. You have to be careful. Uh, this one said not be, sus not be suspected. It's be su ah, suspected. So it's D. So be really careful with these follow-up questions. And that's it.